Well, a heart stopping moment in Sunday's Indy 500. A crash sent a tire flying over the crowd, narrowly missing spectators. As WRTV's Meredith Hackler reports, IndyCar has made safety improvements to prevent things like this from happening. And today reports the tires tether did not fail. It was right here at turn two where Kyle Kirkwood's tire flew off of his vehicle and narrowly missed the crowd. Luckily, no one was seriously injured, but these types of accidents have happened before where spectators haven't been so lucky. One of Tony Bettenhausen's rear tires, rear wheels, flies off the car, bounces off the nose cone there of Guerrero's car, flew up into the grandstand, hit a man from Wisconsin, Lyle Curtinback, 41 years old. He was killed when hit by the wheel. That accident took place in 1987, and the Associated Press reports an Indy Racing League accident in 1999 in North Carolina killed three spectators and injured at least eight when a tire and other debris flew into the stands. Since those tragedies, there have been safety changes. IRL driver Donnie Beachler hopes his wheels will be tethered to his race car from now on. According to IndyCar, they have had a mandated wheel suspension tether for 24 years. Those tethers can withstand a force of over 22,000 pounds. Oh no! Kirkwood! Ooh. Kirkwood! Out of the two -two wall. Despite that tether being in place, Kyle Kirkwood's tire flew off of his car and toward the crowd. It didn't hit anyone, but it did hit this woman's car. Shaking, nervous. Just almost about to cry. Not, I'm just thankful that nobody got hurt. IndyCar issued a statement saying, quote, IndyCar takes the safety of the drivers and fans very seriously. We're pleased and thankful that no one was hurt. IndyCar is in possession of the tire involved in yesterday's incident and has found that the tether did not fail. This is an isolated incident and the series is reviewing to make sure it does not happen again. Held on for dear life. But luckily the pole was there that stopped the tire. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Now, IndyCar says it was the first sanctioning body in the United States to require a wheel suspension tether. Now, we reached out to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for comment about the accident, but they have yet to respond.